Okay, let's take a look at the actions which are related to the paragraph object. I'm going to double click on my paragraph object here and in the properties dialog I'm going to go in the actions panel in the on click tab and click on this add action button here. It's going to bring up my select action wizard here, the new action wizard, and I'm going to choose from the category pull down paragraph. There we go, there's the actions that are related to the paragraph object. Now I'm going to mention at this point, and I don't want to get bogged down in this, but I just want to mention it real quickly. These are not the only actions that can affect the paragraph object, but these are the actions that come basically um, bundled with the paragraph object specifically for dealing with it. Okay, so for example, if we chose a page click object action, this would affect our paragraph object, and it's not one of the paragraph object actions. So I just want you guys to be aware that there are a variety of actions which can affect different objects. But for now, we won't get bogged down in that. So I'm going to go back to the paragraph actions here, and we'll take a quick look through here. Now, you'll notice that there's a great deal of similarity between the label actions and the paragraph actions. So, for example, get text and set text work the exact same way. You can get the text that's currently in your paragraph object, or you can set the text dynamically at runtime. Okay? And the, the get size and set size actions work the same. You can get the size of your object, or you can set the size of your object. Get position and set position. Again, same thing as with the label object. And again, we've got the other couple of actions here, is enabled and is visible. So we can detect whether our object is enabled or whether it's visible. And as well, the corresponding actions of set enabled and set visible, which allow us to affect those values at runtime. Okay, the, the actions which are basically different here, which we do need to take a closer look at, are the get scroll position, get scroll range, and set scroll position actions. Those are the actions which are specific to the paragraph object, and we'll take a look at them in the next lesson here when we're looking at some of these action examples. But for now, suffice to say that those are the three actions that you need to be aware of with the paragraph object. Other than that, these are the same general actions that you'll find for other objects, such as the label object and so forth. Generally, there's an action to uh, set the position, set the size, and so forth for a given object. So this is pretty handy. That means that at runtime, you can create different uh, layouts depending on the context of your project. So this is extremely powerful stuff, and uh, we'll be looking at that more and more as we go through the different lessons. So let's go ahead and go on to the next lesson, and we'll take a look at some examples of these actions.